Hey you guys, it's Jessica. My username is Jessica Cakes. Today is August 23rd, 2018. And um, it is my one week post-op update. Um, I had the lap band taken out and converted to vertical sleeve gastrectomy um, one week ago. Um, if you have not watched my previous video, go ahead and watch that because it's kind of crazy. Um, but so these updates are going to be a little funky, um, from now on because I'm dealing with two separate issues. One is I'm healing from the surgery and I want to update you on all of that. And then two, I am very newly pregnant. So very confusing. I don't even know. I don't even know if you should watch these and like compare anything of what I have to say to your sleeve journey because I can't really figure out if my symptoms are from the, um, the procedure, the sleeve, or because I'm prego. So that's weird. But this is, um, a channel about my experiences in my life and I'm doing it just to get it all out there. So, um, first of all, I want to thank everyone so, so much for being, I'm going to cry again, for being so supportive and nice and, um, and sweet to me and people who have reached out to me on Instagram and Facebook and and all of like my old um, weight loss, my lap band people like from way back when like have reached out to me and and people in the support groups, um, the ones I'm still in because some other ones were just awful, um, have like private messaged me and anyone that has made a comment, a nice comment, um, it means so much to me and it really, <clears throat> helped me get through this this week um the hard part about this week too is that I've been staying at my parents house um and they don't know about the whole situation they know that I had the surgery and um I've been staying here because my husband has to wake up at like 3 45 in the morning to go to work by 5 um, and I can't pick up the baby out of her crib. So during the week, I've been staying here. Um, last weekend, I stayed at my house with him, obviously. And then tomorrow's Friday, so I'll go, I'll get to go back home. But it's been hard because I haven't been able to see him. Um, he just started school again, so he's going to work and then he goes to school. And I see him, I see him every day, but like for five minutes at a time. So that's been rough um because he's he's been my rock through all of this and um and it's helped me it really has helped me to be able to do these videos and to have people to talk to who are kind of once removed from me because I'm not afraid that they're gonna tell anyone or <laughs> or judge me, or if they do judge me, I don't care as much. Um, so it's been nice having everyone um, to kind of talk to. Um, I also, I ended up telling my best friend the whole situation. Um, I, it just, it's nice to have people to confide in, you know, and it makes me feel better. But, um, yeah, as far as the whole situation goes, I've, um, I've been letting myself get excited about it. We wanted more kids, and I know it's really bad timing, and it, there could be extra complications to this, and I really do wish that they would have checked my test before they went through with the surgery, but it is what it is, and it's a blessing, so... 
I know everything I know everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to um, and I'm not a religious person but I I have faith um, that things happen for a reason so I've been letting myself get excited about it <laughs> and I've been Pinteresting and thinking and all this fun stuff so that's been kind of passing my time this week as I've been healing my parents have been really helpful with um, the baby of course um, they are so tired and exhausted and I don't think they realize I mean I know they had three kids of their own but I think they might have forgotten how hard, hard it is um, and they you know they won't let me lift a finger so that's really nice anyway enough about that let's talk about my surgery it's been one week I got on the scale last week I was uh, 213 pounds and today I am 206.6 pounds so that's like 6.4 pounds um and I'm really happy with that uh it's funny because 206 is the lowest I've been um in the past few months but I did a little food funeral right before surgery and I got back up to 213 so it's kind of like all of the damage I did is now done so now I'm like really starting from like my lowest weight so it brings me down to a total of um 30 pounds lost so that's very exciting um so as far as this week went, the first few days were really rough um, at the hospital and then coming home, but it really wasn't horrible. Um, I feel like the lap band was a lot more painful. Um, right now I'm just really sore. Luckily I didn't have much gas pain at all with the lap band I had this horrible pain that like went all up in my shoulder and in the back of my shoulder and I had it for like months it was kind of like something was trapped in there or something I've heard two different things I've heard that gas can kind of like travel throughout your body and get trapped and then I, I also just heard that it's actually a nerve in your stomach that is like being pushed on um, from the gas and then it causes radiating pain um so yeah there's that um I'm just sore uh, I haven't been taking my pain meds too much especially since I found out that I was pregnant but they did say if I really need it I should take it um they don't want me to be in pain and it's really early on so it's not going to it's it's going to be fine but I have been tapering down now I only really take it if I really need it um I was on tramadol and also Hyset and Hyset is the Vicodin um Vicodin Tylenol mixture and then the tramadol is like a lower version of Vicodin but it doesn't make me itchy um, so I've kind of been alternating those. If I'm in a lot of pain, I do take the Vicodin. Um, but if I'm not in that bad of pain, I take the Tramadol. And if I'm not in really any pain, I just don't take anything. Um, I have been keeping up with my water. I get like 40 ounces of water a day. And then, which I know I probably could do more, but I've been trying, I think it's pretty good. And then with the food, I'm still on the liquid diet. Um, I just like, I have to remind myself to eat and there's no part of me that like wants to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm not like completely turned off by it, but I'm just like. Ugh. like I just don't even think about it and it's weird because with the with the lap band even in the beginning when I was healing um I was hungry a lot but the lap band just kind of stopped me from eating um and now it's like my brain just turned off um 
so yeah there has been a few times in the past few days where I've gotten like really hot and it's usually after I eat I get hot and like nauseous and again I don't know if that's like because I'm growing a baby or because I just had the surgery I don't really know I don't really know what it's from but it's happened a few times not to the point where I wanted to throw up or anything but to the point where I like needed to go outside and get fresh air and then it just kind of passed um and with that being said my first baby I had no like no symptoms at all um besides being like a little bit more tired than usual um I never had morning sickness at all so I don't know I don't know what that's all about so we will see how that goes um yeah I think well yesterday I I made little videos about what I ate during the day and I wanted to make a video about that but since I'm eating so little I think I'm going to do one more day um sometime this week and then I'll do like a what I ate in a day but put two days together um so yeah I think that's all I have an update on Oh yeah, I got this like weird rash right here and I've gotten this before um, when I first started keto, when I took all of like the carbs and stuff out of my diet, um, it was called like keto rash or something. Um, so I'm wondering if it's just cause I'm cutting, like I took so much stuff out of my system, um, but I'm not sure. But um, I go to the dermatologist on Wednesday, so I'll ask her about that. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much. Um, I think I'll have a lot more updates next week because I go see my PA and I go see my uh, OB. And hopefully I, there'll be a heartbeat so that'll be fun and then I do something I've been a little worried about um, is talking to my surgeon's office about what exactly had happened um, again if you haven't watched my last video you need to go watch that but um, I don't really know how to go about it like I am upset about it but I am trying not to put like negative energy with it but it's like they need to know because like it was bad it was just really bad so I don't know I think I'm gonna try to go see a patient advocate I know hospitals have those so I think I will talk to them about it um and see what they have to say because honestly the way they react um and take ownership for what had happened is going to be a huge factor to me whether I make a big stink about it or not um, so we will see um, and if you guys ever have any questions or just want to chat feel free to contact me um, I love I would love to find people that have some some company I guess so anyway I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you guys later